Hello students. Today we're going to determine the domain and range of this function here. So uh, because it's a square root, we want uh, real valued uh, numbers. So that means we want um, the square root of positive numbers or actually non-negative numbers because um, the square root function can equal zero. So we want to know when x squared minus 25 is greater than or equal to zero. Uh, we're going to do this by, um, we're going to determine this domain by factoring this left-hand side. And then um, we could use what's called a sign chart. Now there's a few ways to do a sign chart. Uh, what we're going to do is determine the uh, SIGN of this expression here, which is also the same thing as this expression up here. And uh, we're going to do so by first determining where this expression is zero. And you can see that at um, 5, if you plug in 5 for x, you get 0. And if you plug minus 5 in for x, you'll also get 0. And I'll fill those in. So those are 0 at these two points. And now we want to know where is this thing plus or minus. So um, what we're going to do here is uh, we could try some test points. And uh, I can make a little chart here. Um, and I can test where x minus 5 times x plus 5. Um, and I could test my values for x here. So um, I can try x equals, uh, let's try something in uh, this region um, over here, minus 5. So my test point can be x equals minus 6. And if I plug that in, you'll see we get a positive 11. And since that is bigger than 0, um, that means I have a plus there. Now, the next point uh, I can test is something in this region here. And a good test point there might be x equals 0. And so if I plug in 0, Uh, we get minus 25, and that's less than zero. So that tells me that everything in this region here is negative. And then similarly, if I try x equals 6, I get an 11. And that tells me everything in this region here is going to be positive. And so now I know exactly where um, this expression or this expression is non-negative. And that is everywhere in these pockets here. And so that's what the graph looks like in one dimension. And so the domain of uh, this function is minus infinity to minus 5, I can include the minus 5 union 5 to positive infinity. So that is the domain. Okay, next we find the range. To find the range, uh, we could simply just look at um, the plot of this thing, but you know that the square root function and for a moment, I, I will put the x in there, but just recall that the square root function is something that, um, if I just draw a plot of the square root of x, so here's the square root of x, it looks like this. And you might be thinking, wait, is this supposed to be plus or minus? And the answer to that is no, the square root is positive. Um, you get the plus or minus if you're solving something like x squared equals you know, some number, for example but the square root function is positive, so the, x, uh, the square root of x squared minus 25 is always going to be a positive number, and you can see that by the plot over here. Um, you start here at 0, and it's 0, and then it grows and goes off to infinity, 
And similarly, it starts here at zero and goes off to infinity. So that tells us that the um, range uh, of this function, the range of f of x is uh, zero to positive infinity. Okay, good luck.